ass. Dak is ass, right? Can I say it on TV? Because he is ass. You can ass. say whatever you want on TV. Okay, that's one thing. This is the second game that he's just lost mm. by throwing picks. He threw two picks to the, pa- the, the, uh, the Packers, right? Had 14 point lead, mm-hmm. lost, come back. They was up 17. My man, 17 and lost picks. Dak has the easiest job in football. I'll pay you $160 million. That's how you play? If you tell me that's outstanding, I, I don't know what to say. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm lost for words. What's up, YouTube? I'm back with another video, man. Force Junkie, man. Back with another video, man. But before we get into the video, y'all know how I like to start these videos. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Man, jump in that comment section. Talk to me. I talk back. But let's get into the video. Now, that clip I just played right there, that was Shady McCoy. Now, that clip is an old clip. A lot of you guys already heard it already because that clip went viral. But the reason I brought it up right now, because I'm not letting them sweep these stuff they done said in the past under the rug. Now, the Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys, but not here balling. I'm not letting y'all get away with that. Cause this dude right here and this team right here is special and we about to change this narrative so we ain't letting y'all sweep stuff under the rug cowboy nation cowboy family give me three minutes and take this walk with me y'all take this walk with me Dak prescott it's only ezekiel Elliott. it's the run game it's not really Dak. this that's accountable for the wins that was one of them right then what was next Dak prescott he needs everything to be perfect around him everything has to be perfect everything if, if everything has to be perfect around him in order for him to be successful what was another one dink and dunk dak dink and dak dink and dak dink and dunk dink and dak they 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 coined this phrase for dak prescott when is the last time y'all heard dink and dunk in the nfl and it's a lot of quarterbacks right now in this past season that was dinking and dunking and dinking and dacking but you didn't hear nothing about him because that phrase was coined for dak prescott it was everything needs to be perfect around him but when we say that about brock purdy we hate him but that's the same thing y'all said about Dak Prescott. Brock Purdy got everything perfect around him. In the moment everything wasn't perfect around him, what happened? Three game losing streak. But for Dak Prescott, it, it, it's, it's national news. It's national news. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep on pushing this narrative that Dak Prescott is elite and Dak Prescott is a franchise quarterback, quarterback man. And I'm not gonna let you media so-called experts ruin this man name ruin this man character and now that he out here balling we're gonna let y'all sweep all that stuff under the rug that y'all said in the past nah y'all gonna account for this stuff man y'all don't yeah y'all gonna account for these things that y'all said about Dak prescott another thing they said Dak prescott is a choke artist okay a lot of people been saying that in my comment section so let's address that what is the definition of a choke artist i need to know that way i know how to respond does it mean you haven't won a Super Bowl? Because that's what one person in my comment said. He ain't won no Super Bowl. He'll choke artist. Is that the definition of a choke artist? Because if that's the definition of a choke artist, it's a whole bunch of quarterbacks in the Hall of Fame and great quarterbacks that's a choke artist. Is Dan Marino a choke artist? Because he ain't win no Super Bowl. Is Jim Kelly a choke artist? Because he ain't win no Super Bowl. Is Warren Moon, Michael Vick, Dante Culpepper, is these all choke artists? Because none of these won Super Bowl, but all these were great quarterbacks. So are they choke artists? Or is it just because Dak Prescott play for the Dallas Cowboys that he's a choke artist and that's another thing they push oh well you guys are America's team and this and this and this that's why you guys get all this come on man come on man I work for UPS man I'm a diesel driver for UPS one of our biggest people that we work with is Amazon everybody know Amazon Amazon's real popular right do you think I can go to UPS and just talk shit about Amazon man Amazon's stupid man dude they sorry man they charge too much man we should Forget Amazon. They they this and this and this. What do you think my employer would tell me for talking about one of their biggest contracts? They wouldn't allow it, right? But ESPN, Dallas Cowboys keep their lights on, keep their bills paid. But they allow certain people to go on their network and just dog them? Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, man. I know I'm ranting, but, but I had to get this out. The Dallas Cowboys is about to make history. Dak Prescott, for those of you who don't like it, those of you that are Cowboy fans, but you was more sided with Romo, and that's why you hate on Dak Prescott. Man, Dak Prescott about to have all the Dallas Cowboy records. Touchdowns, yards, rushing yards. Only thing he doesn't have is Super Bowl rings. And I'm going to say something right now that a lot of you Cowboy fans not going to like because it's an unpopular opinion, but I don't give a damn. This channel is predicated on telling the truth and speaking facts the way I see it. Right now, today, today. Not next year, not 10 years from now. Today, Dak Prescott is a better quarterback than Troy Aitman. Now, a lot of y'all gonna get in my comment section and say, that's blasphemy, that's blasphemy. How can you say that? Now, if we don't re- now remember, I'm a Dallas Cowboy fan. 
So I'm not throwing no shade on Troy Aikman. See, I'm not one of these people out here that you got to put down one person to lift up another one. See, I can say Troy Aikman was great, but I also can say Dak Prescott was better. So what we need to do, Cowboy Nation, is stand up, bond together, and me and other content creators like me, we're going to keep pushing this narrative over and over and over and over and over again until it no longer exists. Wow. Some people say, why are you making content about this? Why are they on TV saying the same thing every weekend? So if they can say it on TV, I can say it on YouTube. They're pushing that narrative. I'm pushing against that narrative. That's team A. This is team B. Me and a couple other content creators that you guys probably already subscribed to. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like the way they treat the Dallas Cowboys. I don't like the way they treat Dax Prescott. Dak Prescott has lost his mom, his brother, all kind of stuff, man. And I ain't asking for no sympathy, but the dude don't get in trouble or nothing, man. Nothing. So in closing, to wrap this video up, I'm not letting the Shady McCoys, the Bart Scotts, the Dan Orlowski's, the run out of bounds, man. The Joy Taylors who's only on TV because her brother, you know what I mean? Don't nobody listen to Joy Taylor. And I'm not against women on sports because in my opinion, Mia Kynes do a real good job. But she knows what she's talking about. Joy Taylor get on TV, somebody hand her a read a cue card, a read card, and she just read off stats. And then what she does is agree with everything Shady McCoy says. Am I wrong for saying that? That's the truth. That's the truth. Stephen A. Smith, who justifies his takes Oh, I hate the Dallas Cowboy fans. If a nuclear bomb drop, only thing that be left is Dallas Cowboy and roaches and rats. Come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> come on, man. Like, come on, man. This stuff right here is comical. And Sunday afternoon, the Green Bay Packers is food. And another reason I like to get on here and talk my stuff is because I don't want nobody coming back a couple weeks later telling me that, oh, uh, you just bandwagged on the Cowboys. Nah, playboy. Go back and look at my history. Go back and look at my, my, my videos. I've been saying the Cowboys was going to have a great year. I've been saying this. Even all the people in my comment session telling me I'm delusional. I'm still rocking out for the Cowboys. So if you got a Cowboy jersey, a Cowboy hat, some Cowboy socks, some Cowboy... Whatever you got, put it on. They said wear white. Put your Cowboy jersey on. White. And let's rock out with our team. And let's kill these narratives. Put in the comment section where the goalposts going to move to on Monday morning. Because all they're going to say is you're supposed to be Green Bay. That's what they're going to say. We know that already. Cowboy Nation, am I right or am I wrong? All you content creators that's watching this video, hey man, keep rocking out with them Cowboys and keep pushing the, re the real narrative about Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys. Now all of a sudden they want Jerry Jones to fire Mike McCarthy. They always want some, 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 some negative stuff going on around the Cowboys and they say we bring it on ourselves because we America's team. You know what I mean? Then they bring up stuff that happened back in uh, 1990, bro. Check this out, man. I got a question for y'all. We all got family. We all got a father. We all got mothers and uncles. If my uncle or my dad did something 20 years ago, should I get blamed for it? Me, personally, should I get, should I have to answer for that? Something he did 20 years ago? One of the Dallas Cowboys, I'm not going to say his name, but y'all know what I'm talking about. One of the Dallas Cowboys got caught stealing some drawers and some socks or something like that in the mall. So if Dak Prescott and CeeDee Lamb walk in the mall, should they not, should they be arrested or should they be escorted out because something this dude did years ago? So why should we be blamed about something that happened back in the 95 or 96? This is a new team. If you want to, if you want to critique something, critique Dak Prescott from the time he's been a Cowboy. Stop critiquing us on the, the old Cowboys. Come on, man. Don't even make no sense. Cowboy Nation, stand up. Rock out with your team. Let's go out here and change this narrative. Let's, I know they're going to move the goalposts, but let's make a movie. This is my rant video. This will probably be my last video before the game. Then I'm going to come right back on here and talk my shit. The Green Bay Packers is food come Sunday. And until the next one, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Man, jump in that comment section and let me know if you got faith in our Dallas Cowboys. Peace.